the universe is incredibly vast and mysterious. Its size has fascinated scientists, philosophers, and curious minds for centuries. While the spatial size of the entire universe is unknown, it is possible to measure the size of the observable universe, which is approximately 93 billion light years across today. But what does this number really mean? To put it in perspective, a light year is a unit of distance used in astronomy and is equal to approximately 5.88 trillion miles or 9.46 trillion kilometers. This means that the observable universe is approximately 546.84 trillion trillion miles or 878.58 trillion trillion kilometers across. It is a staggeringly large number that is difficult to comprehend. The answer to why the universe is so big lies in its origins. According to the Big Bang Theory, the universe was created approximately 13.8 billion years ago in an explosive event that caused its rapid expansion. Since then, it has continued to expand at an accelerating rate fueled by mysterious forces like dark energy. As the universe expanded, matter began to clump together under the influence of gravity, forming stars, galaxies, and eventually planets like our own planet Earth. Over time, these structures grew larger and more complex, giving rise to the incredible diversity of objects and phenomena we see in the universe today. The observable universe is only a minuscule fraction of the entire universe, which encompasses everything that exists. While the universe with a capital U includes all matter, energy, space, and time, the observable universe refers to the portion that we can detect from Earth. This region is limited and extends to a distance of approximately 93 billion light years in diameter. Light takes time to travel, so what we see in the observable universe are objects as they were in the past. Also, due to the expansion of the universe, distant objects are rapidly receding from us, making them more difficult to detect as their light is stretched and redshifted. The edge of the universe is a complex and fascinating enigma with no definitive answer. There are theories that suggest that the universe is infinite and has no discernible limit based on the cosmological principle of isotropy. Another theory proposes that the universe is finite but curves in on itself, without a defined edge. There is also the possibility that our universe is part of a larger multiverse, with other universes that may be connected to or separate from ours. In addition, thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, we have discovered the existence of the Cosmic Web, a large-scale structure made up of galaxies, filaments, and voids. This network reveals how matter is distributed and how galaxies evolve over time, arising from small fluctuations in the density of the early universe and amplified by gravity. Using the James Webb Space Telescope, astronomers have discovered cosmic web filaments in the early universe. These filaments were detected by observing 25 quasars, extremely bright galaxies with supermassive black holes at their centers, that existed shortly after the Big Bang. Among these quasars, a thread-like arrangement of ten galaxies was found, anchored by a luminous quasar. These structures challenge our understanding of how the cosmic web forms and evolves, as they show that such filaments may exist in the early stages of the universe. Furthermore, this discovery provides clues as to how black holes may have influenced their environment at that time. The James Webb Space Telescope has made important discoveries studying the early universe and interstellar chemistry. It has identified the first threads of the cosmic web, revealing how galaxies and clusters form. In addition, it has detected for the first time the presence of a crucial molecule called a methyl cation in a planet-forming disk around a young star in the Orion Nebula. This molecule plays an important role in interstellar organic chemistry and its detection confirms its relevance in the formation of complex carbon-based molecules. The discovery also provides insight into how organic molecules can form and evolve in protoplanetary disks under the influence of ultraviolet radiation. 
These findings demonstrate the sensitivity and resolution of James Webb and its ability to explore the mysteries of the universe and cosmic chemistry. James Webb has revealed that galaxies cleared the opaque gas of the early universe, allowing light to propagate freely. This event, known as the Age of Reionization, marked a key milestone in cosmic history. Using James Webb, Astronomers found that galaxies existing 900 million years after the Big Bang ionized the surrounding gas, making it transparent. Bubbles of ionized gas around these galaxies grew and merged, gradually transforming the universe into its current transparent state. These early galaxies also exhibited surprising features, such as active star formation and unexpected structures, challenging our understanding of galactic evolution. By studying these ancient galaxies, James Webb has provided invaluable information about their characteristics, masses, and compositions, as well as their influence on their surroundings. These findings show how James Webb is revealing new aspects of the early universe that were previously hidden, allowing astronomers to deepen their understanding of galaxy formation and evolution. James Webb's Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey Jade's program is a leading initiative that uses imaging and infrared spectroscopy to study the evolution of galaxies in the early universe. Jade's has made significant discoveries, including the identification of hundreds of galaxies that existed when the universe was very young. These galaxies, some of the oldest and most distant ever observed, provide key information about the formation of the first stars and galaxies. JADES takes advantage of the sensitivity and resolution of James Webb in the infrared, making it possible to detect light from very distant objects that have been redshifted due to the expansion of the universe. This approach has revealed galaxies with very high redshifts, demonstrating the power of James Webb to study the universe in its earliest stages. The ancient galaxies seen by JADES are very different from the current ones. They are small, dim, and young with massive stars in the making that emit ultraviolet light that ionizes the surrounding gas. These galaxies are crucial to understanding how the first stars and galaxies formed, how they reionized the universe, and how it evolved from its dark to a transparent state. Jades reveals complex and diverse structures in these galaxies, showing stellar activity, supernova explosions, and mergers. He has also measured the size of nearby galaxies which show us how they grow and change over time. With unprecedented sensitivity and resolution in the infrared, Jades opens new windows into the early universe and provides valuable legacy data for future research. The James Webb studies galaxy formation by observing a protocluster of seven galaxies that existed when the universe was young. These galaxies move at very high speeds within a halo of dark matter, which acts as a gravitational glue that holds them together. The James Webb used its near-spec instrument to measure the velocities and confirm that they are united in a protocluster. In addition, he used spectral data to model the future development of the protocluster to the present, predicting that it will grow and transform into the coma cluster. This discovery demonstrates how galaxies clump together early in the history of the universe and how they evolved into the massive structures we see today. It also highlights James Webb's ability to detect and study faint and distant galaxies in the infrared. The James Webb studies the formation and evolution of galaxies by observing their shapes and structures at different cosmic moments. In early galaxies, he discovered complex and chaotic structures that underwent rapid growth and transformation driven by gravity and interaction with gas. In more mature galaxies, he revealed more regular shapes and structures, indicating growth and change over time. He also found even closer galaxies with morphological diversity, but similar to those in the nearby universe. These discoveries demonstrate the variability in galaxy formation at different times and how James Webb resolves details in distant galaxies, revealing their morphology and complexity. In addition, the James Webb has made it possible to study the chemical properties of distant galaxies, revealing information about the formation and evolution of complex carbon-based molecules. 
For example, he has detected a carbon molecule called a methyl cation in a planet-forming disk around a young star, providing clues to interstellar organic chemistry and how molecules can form and evolve in cosmic environments. The James Webb has extended our knowledge by detecting weak signals from distant and complex sources, validating their sensitivity and resolution in the infrared. These advances in the understanding of galaxies and cosmic chemistry are made possible by James Webb's unique ability to observe at infrared wavelengths and reveal hidden aspects of the early universe. The James Webb has revealed new details of the Pandora Cluster, a complex and violent region of the universe located 3.5 billion light years from Earth. The telescope has detected hundreds of distant galaxies and gravitational lenses in the cluster, amplifying their light and revealing their presence in the image. In addition, James Webb has studied the distribution and composition of gas and dust in the cluster, revealing information about the temperature, density, and metallicity of hot plasma and cold dust. He has also observed the diversity and complexity of the galaxies in the cluster, showing a wide range of shapes, colors, sizes, masses, ages, and histories, as well as signs of star formation, supernova explosions, and mergers. These new details provide a more complete understanding of the evolution and interaction of galaxies in the Pandora Cluster.